Hello everyone and welcome to Rambles and Preambles. And um, we're playing boob. Boo boob. Just just boob. Boobs. You know, some people call it porn. It's, it's not porn, it's artsy, I keep telling you. It's fucking filth. That's what it is. People are gonna be masturbating to this. Yep. Until they hear hey. your voice. Nah, no, no, just help them along. Yeah, sorry, uh, but I, I forgot this thing involves us to like read and click and stuff. Um, <clears throat> I didn't miss that first part because I was trying to see if the clicky thing <laughs> Things happen. And... Yet, as people grow up, they often come to realise the truth. Dreams are nothing more than fairy tales. And then they grow breasts. <laughs> because... and, and then spend a lot of time groping themselves and jiggling around in the shower. Yes, I looked into this. <laughs> oh, fuck's sake. Oh, <laughs> Yeah, there's going to have to be some editing to cover nipples mostly with your face. There's actually nipples? <laughs> I would imagine so. You can use my face. I'm going to use your face to cover the nipples. <laughs> <laughs> At least that's what most people say. Dear Lord. Then what about those who do end up accomplishing their dreams? Are they merely, uh, are they merely incredibly lucky? They fucking get up off their ass. Alright, go on, you can be the dead. Every man has a dream he wants to accomplish. However, there is Jesus something Christ. really important you should know, me boy. <laughs> a real man doesn't give up on his dream, no matter what overwhelming challenges he might have to face. <laughs> Who's doing that? I think this is the monologue, so I'll do this in my normal voice. I still remember those foolish words my dad used to say, but, desp <laughs> but despite their silly nature, I found myself inspired by them. It works better even with the boys. Ever since I was a young child, <laughs> I have been interested in martial arts, namely women jiggling around. Tit feng shu. <laughs> it doesn't matter. I. Oh, it doesn't matter whether I watched a match on the television or read manga about it. Yep, sure. Read manga about martial arts. Yeah. Anywho, <clears throat> it has always been a, my dream to become a martial artist one day. Of course, it was a bit childish of me to think that I could become a hero simply by learning the martial arts. Even though I already understood that superheroes were nothing more than f uh, figments of my imagination, I still had a desire to use my strength for the sake of others. So wanking off <laughs> someone else. <laughs> my name is Gushken Takahiro. I am 17 years old, uh, 17 year old rising judo star, and no, that's not me bragging. I am actually about to take part in a tournament two weeks from now that could make or break my in career on an international level. Shit, son. Of course, I was excited about the opportunity to finally accomplish my dreams uh, and represent my country at a sport I, I loved, uh, but the same excitement also made me feel incredibly nervous. Right, hang on a sec. <laughs> ah, yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fuck straining my eyes doing this. <laughs> See, my eyes are fucked whether I have glasses on or not. Yeah, yeah, it's true, but your eyes are fucked. Yeah. Oh, I need my glasses to read! Just call me Clark Kent. <laughs> and while those worrisome thoughts haunted my mind, a familiar voice resounded from inside from the window. Uh, from outside the window. Uh, Oi! <laughs> Tucker Gun! Get your butt in gear! Okay, okay. I'll be, I'll be right there. You know what I mean? You gotta keep that voice up now. <laughs> yeah, it's fine. I can do that one easily. <laughs> Not wanting to keep Konami waiting, I quickly uh, dashed forward, uh, dashed towards the front door to let her in. Oh, it was a lady. I oh, wanted to tell me that before I did the stupid voice. <laughs> can you not tell by the name? No. Not yeah. even realizing I was still in my pajamas. And I wasn't wearing bottoms. <laughs> Hold on a second, Kami! I grabbed my shoes before we head off the school! Brilliant. 
Really? I never realised our school had such a sh uh, strict uniform or sleepwear policy. Nice jammies, by the way. Did you borrow them from your mum? What a bitch. For a moment, my eyes drifted uh, downwards, noticing that I was indeed wearing nothing but a pyjama top and no bottoms. <clears throat> and I was aroused. Very, very aroused. Bah, there was nothing wrong with my jammies. The Golden Knight, the famous comic book character in the West. Besides, everyone prefers to sleep naked, like you. Not, oh, so not everyone, but... Mumbling those words, I started stripping out of my pyjamas, not per particularly minding uh, the presence of a girl behind me. You dirty little shit. That only happened once, and you know very well it was super hot that night, and jeez, warn me before you stripped naked in front of me, you idiot. You didn't seem to mind... Oh, you didn't seem to mind when we were little. Maybe you want to turn around and stare. No, no, stop. Don't make me kick your ass. I decided I had teased her enough and quickly pulled on my pants and proceeded <laughs> with the remaining few items of clothes before us suitably dressed for school. What are we doing? Um, I don't know. But I'm scared. <laughs> We're reading something where it's about two school children getting dressed in front of each other. I blame the Steam cells and the fact that I, I wanted the game so we could do our stupid voices again because it's fun. <laughs> <laughs> just, just go. It can't, it can't get much worse than this. Oh, it can. Besides, uh, besides, I had a reason for being distracted. You've been distracted a lot lately. What's going on uh, on in that hollow skull of yours? In that homecoming match, I have no idea how it, anyone can remain calm if an international career is at stake. I wouldn't be surprised if I had made made up enough doomsday scenarios to fill up the apocalypse genre. What? what? I don't know, that didn't make any sense why I thought I read hey, it. Hey, the up. apocalypse genre... <laughs> what? It's not like a fucking cup! Oh, oh, right. The judo thing. I'm sure you do fine. I've seen uh, some even matches, and, and you kick butt. Uh, and of course, uh, if you're worried, you could always pray. Help me, Jeebus! Oh my fucking god! Okay, it got worse. <laughs> Pray. <laughs> what? Don't tell me you don't know. It's one of the school's legends. Apparently there's a shrine out in the forest that if you pray to it, it brings good luck. Ichikawa. <laughs> Ichikawa's son said that uh, his sister prayed to them the night before her exam and she got a perfect score. She got nailed in the bike gym. <laughs> For a cigarette. <laughs> <laughs> Half a pack of quavers. <laughs> ah, do be serious. What's this? <laughs> it's fine, but instead of bring you good luck, don't bogus to me. But at this point, I'm going to try anything, because let's face it, I'm pretty scared. I'll ask each of you a tongue a bit about its location. <laughs> If I just do the mongoloid voice. Yeah. You're just going to go really nasal whenever you have to read it. No, 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 no. I'm not exactly in the mood to get lost in the forest uh, and end up like a modern day tarpan. Well, whatever. If you do go looking for it, at least send me a message let me know. And um, will you hurry up? We're going to be late again. A hero is never too early, nor is he too late, because otherwise people die, like the Man of Steel. Uh, they arrive precisely when they need it. No, he arrives precisely when he means to. But for the sake of avoiding detention, let's hurry up. No, because you got the fucking quote wrong! It that's a wizard, not a hero genius. Get your Lord of the Rings quotes right to begin with. Yeah. Um, and 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 the, uh, how can uh, one person be such a sports nerd and such a geek? At no, because a geek would have got it right. 
Let's not forget about the Casanova and the Man of the Year candidate bits. They're, they're important details. I doubt you'd qualify for either of them, Pajama Boy. Mm. She's a dickhead. In fact, they're both dickheads. They're both dickheads. <laughs> Let's see how... Anyway, a dickhead it, count. <laughs> let us boldly go when uh, everyone has gone before to school. Oh, Jesus Christ. Uh, nerd. Several hours later. What voice should I go for? The next character I just... <laughs> <laughs> oh, fucking <laughs> locker room. God damn it! Later that day, I finally got a chance to talk to my classmates about the location of the shrine that Kiyomi had mentioned earlier. Gym was the last thing on the schedule for today, so once people had got ready to go uh, home, I approached the guy. It's a guy? In the locker room. Alone. After everyone had left. Hey, Ichimaru-san! Yeah. Is it true that your sister discovered some shrine? Is it also true that she gave a guy a hand job for a packet of quavers? What's this? <laughs> <laughs> oh, ho, ho. Let me guess. You want to date her, right? <laughs> well, even though I do have to admit that she's pretty attractive. What the fuck? <laughs> I'm afraid she's already going out with someone. <laughs> I think I broke you. <laughs> oh god, I'm crying. Not to mention you're not a type. Oh god. <laughs> right, you're up. <laughs> I can't fucking see. I only got my hand full dealing with Kiyomi. Uh, you can keep your... What? Well, well, well. He already said his sister was attractive. Okay, it's <laughs> incest. We covered it. Let's move on. You right. can <laughs> keep your sister. Jokes aside, I'm more interested in that fine. <laughs> Did you mention where you found it? I didn't know there was anything near the forest aside from the dojo. Oh, well, uh, she said something about it uh, being near river and quite high up. To be honest, I wasn't paying too much attention when she was going on about it. I mean, she was wearing this top and it oh, was tight. <laughs> That's your fucking sister, mate! Stop, stop, seriously, I don't need to hear the details. I doubt anyone else is interested except you. He is definitely talking about his own sister, isn't he? As far as I'm aware, what I guess from the story, yes. Oh my god. So, do you know anyone who might have heard of mine? Are you guys... Uh, talking about the lucky shrine out in the forest. Uh, the one and only. According to Ichimaru's sister, there's supposed to be one near a river. I don't know about that, but there's a uh, fiery girl at the... Esku... Es es no, fucking hell. Asakura. Asakura Dojo, who knows more about it. <laughs> Wait, are you talking about... Iri that name? Irisa... Irisama? <laughs> Aria Sama? No, Aria Sama? About this tool. Ridiculously strong and super skip. What? Does that even make sense? Also, the, the leader of America? Are you talking about. Oh, sorry. No, no, no well, it's best That's to one! Move on. It's you, isn't it? It's oh, wait. Oh, yeah. Oh, in that case, I believe I still may be of help talking. Oh, it's you. Oh, no. <laughs> that's, that's you. Oh, in that case, I believe I can still be of help. Takahiro kun. Kun? Kun? <laughs> Takahiro kun? <laughs> You're a kun. <laughs> oh, no, I know where that place is. Of course you do. We both do. You just want to tag along, don't you? I don't think uh, Ari, Ari Senpai... Uh, We'll appreciate you visiting her with your usual tricks in mind. Do I need to remind you what happened last time you tried to peek in at her after she finished practice? Blood, sweat and tears. Shit, shut up. I don't peep on the ladies. <laughs> That's slander and you know. I should sue you. 
<laughs> I would never look upon Arias-Sam's glorious body in any state of nudity. <laughs> oh, so you haven't seen her naked yet? Well, I else has. <laughs> I, I've seen a bit of a side boob, <laughs> but the... <laughs> But the hole I found didn't really let me get a good view of. Let me go! Someone call the cops! It's carrying the peep and Tom! He also, also fucks his sister. <sighs> I playfully patted her Ichiro's shoulder uh, as I turned around, grabbing my bag. Uh, in the process, uh, I'm prepared to leave. Thanks for the, the tip, Ichiro. Uh, uh, I'll let the judge know you were most helpful during the interrogation. <laughs> this is unfair. I was coerced. I won't say another word until I speak with my lawyer. Oh, what the man. fuck are we even doing? <laughs> this is the greatest thing ever. <laughs> I love Steam sales. This is the best two pounds I ever spent. <laughs> <laughs> Two pounds. Mate, you could buy a lot of Monster Munch for that. Yeah, I could have. <laughs> Once school was over, I decided to uh, take my chances with a, a little bit of intel I managed to uh, obtain from my classmates. If memory served me right, a, a Rei Senpai would be practicing at a dojo today. Of course, I know her. She was a judo student just like myself. But for whatever reason, she has been refusing to compete in any tournament for a while. Are you with them high? Are you around? I shouted her name as I parked my bike, looking around for any sign of the girl. Yeah, be you. <laughs> that should count as that. <laughs> oh god, this is fucking <clears throat> awesome. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Follow the shouts and you will find her. I grinned briefly as I saw a, a ride. Ari, Araya, <laughs> seemingly in the middle of practicing a series of motions, almost as if she was fighting an imaginary opponent. Something Perhaps good. now was a perfect opportunity for me to surprise her a little. Oh, God. I snuck closer, making sure to make a little noise as possible, before I reached my hand towards her shoulder and said, I'm Batman! Oh. Ah. Feeling a hand on her shoulder, Araya reacted. She grabbed hold of my hand, and with a loud grunt, she <laughs> <laughs> shifted her weight, curling and tipping me over her shoulder. I didn't have time to brace myself for the impact before I hit the ground like a sack of shit. Hey, ya! Uh. Yeah! <laughs> no one sneak up on me! The great. I can't even fucking read that. <laughs> can I? Can I cheer you, Raya? Oh, Tucker boy, I didn't realise it was you. I'm sorry, are you okay? <coughs> Turned into old you got me. What? What yours, uh, the chimney sweeping, Gav? It's a really multicultural yeah, school. Yeah, it is. <laughs> <laughs> can you cheer? More like Tasmanian devil. That throne didn't have a shred of mercy in it. There's no mercy in the ring, Tucker boy. <laughs> Better that you learn that now than in two weeks time. Let me guess, you want to do something? No. Do some sparring, don't ya? I actually came here to ask you something, but I guess a little sparring wouldn't hurt. Well. Oh, what do you want to ask? We've got all afternoon, and I could do with a bit of a break anyway. 
Where the start? You used to take part in big, important matches in the past, right? Didn't you ever get nervous before going to the ring? Did you ever shit yourself? Oh, yeah! <laughs> this one time, I got so nervous, I hid in the kitchen cupboards until my dad found me and dragged me to the car. <laughs> of course, that was when I was like eight. <laughs> Well, obviously, I can't go and hide from my match, but one of my friends has made a stupid suggestion that I should go pray on something. Honestly, at this point, I, I, I'll do anything to calm my nerves a little. Here, take these pills. <laughs> <laughs> Tucker boy, are you sure about this? You mean the match? Of course I am. I've been practicing junior ever since home was old enough to walk. This is my chance to finally represent the country, and I love the sport! Mm. Aria seemed to think for quite a long time, all the while tapping her jaw with her finger. Eventually, she snapped her fingers and I grabbed tight hold of me. Alright! <laughs> I'll tell you the way to this shrine! <laughs> oh no! That doesn't make sense. <laughs> But it's going to require more than a simple clap of your hands and a bob of your head. You need to give something to the shrine, something of value. Your anal virginity. <laughs> <coughs> oh, well, I guess I have to think of something before we get there. Uh, I guess senpai. Uh, oh, sorry. thanks, senpai. I appreciate your help. I fucking hate that word. I hate that word, senpai. It senpai. just creeps me out. We? Oh no, 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 Tucker boy. <laughs> I'm not going with you. I've got training to do. Besides, you've got to take this step yourself. I can draw you a map and show you an easy way to get back here. But you'll be on your own. You're not hanging that long. Not even for a little while. What if I get raped in the uh, forest? No means <laughs> no! <laughs> <laughs> What they're not getting. No. Afraid so, Tucker boy. Let me just grab some paper. I'll draw you that map for you. Anyone got a Crayola? What am I doing? <laughs> Pleasing the masses by <laughs> entertaining them. That's what I do on Fridays. I drink Capri Sun and make fucking <laughs> stupid voices. <laughs> <clears throat> what else is there to do? Suck dick, I don't. <laughs> That's what you do on your weekends, though. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I'm can't going to Brighton every, tomorrow. <laughs> can't, can't do it every day of the week. Otherwise, you have to get your stomach pumped. It's, no, it's cleansing. Uh, not if you drink so much of it. Oh, that, that guy from. Uh, How do you know? <laughs> uh, the. Um, I can't remember if it was the lead singer or it was one of the members from Dead or Alive had to have his stomach pumped because he didn't take in too much semen. Oh my god! Yep, I didn't know that was actually he, a thing. He nearly died from it because if you, if you uh, have too much, don't ingest too much salt, you can uh, kill you. So. Oh right, it's a large quantity of salt. <laughs> big quantity of protein as well. Big quantity of protein. <laughs> <laughs> so all you gym buffs go suck dick. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's why gay people say buff. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's a stereotype, and you know it. You've seen Alan Carr. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> <laughs> Right, let's fucking get through this. Some voice of a, 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 a gay man in the body of a, a big geezer. Um, oh. After Araya's return, uh, quick preparations were made and I followed the directions noted down on the map. Surprisingly, I got lost because she'd drawn a fucking cat! It wasn't all that far, however, uh, the hint on how to find my way back in case I got lost was a bit sketchy. <laughs> just, get it. just look down you'll be able to see the roof of the dojo from anywhere on the hill. The forest near the dojo was my first challenge to overcome. A narrow path coiled along the trees and nearby was a river uh, Achikira's sister had mentioned. I followed Araya's scribbles with a bit of scepticism, but after an hour or so I finally arrived at the supposedly legendary shrine. It's a pile of scat. 
So there's a hole in the ground with some shit in it. <laughs> <laughs> Pray to it. <laughs> Pray to the shit god. The shrine itself seemed surprisingly well maintained despite being in the middle of nowhere. It made me wonder if someone could have secret uh, been could be secretly living there, perhaps some secret martial arts master. That's fucking prime real estate, that. I know, right? No one's going to abandon that. The thought of a hermit living in the middle of within the shrine in order to prepare himself for an upcoming battle between good and evil started to dwell in my mind. I'm going to be too good to be true. I sighed in annoyance at the fact uh, that aside from the shrine itself, the ground surrounding it seemed completely abandoned. There was no way anyone could be living there. For the time being, I decided to go focus on the reason from behind my visit. It only took a few moments before I gathered the courage to approach the building. Once inside, I found a, a rather fancy-looking altar of sorts at the back of the room. That's fancy. I guess this is the thing anyone's talking about. Suddenly, I folded up the map that I was given and put it inside my bag. I approached the order. Put it inside his ass. What's there anything to say? Fight it safe uh, to uh, store stuff, isn't it? I was kind of skeptical about the whole uh, religious aspect, so I wasn't too sure if it was actually going to work. I don't even think luck will do it for me. Uh, much good in this match. Are you speaking like, aloud oh. to himself? <laughs> I know. That's why I'm doing that voice. Because <laughs> he's got he's got to have some form of disability. <laughs> oh, come on. Oh. Jesus Christ. Yeah, I apologise for that remark. <laughs> no, you don't. You'll fucking do it again. Yeah, I probably will. I mean, for fuck's sake, you're doing the voice! <laughs> I know. In my opinion, there wasn't any room for things like luck in martial arts. Judo is all about using the knowledge you gain through training, of course. A good amount of talent also helps. There was simply no room for something as superstitious as luck. Yeah, but Cle whether you have talent or not is pure luck. Yes. Clearly, this is going to be a match where my experience and talent would be uh, pushed to the limits. Nothing more or nothing less. You should end up fighting a koala. Really? I'm doing another one? Oh, yeah. Oh, fucking hell. Um... How curious! <laughs> the boy doesn't believe in superstition! And yet he stands here, surrounded by the very thing he denounces. <laughs> yeah, this is happening. Oh, Jesus. Upon hearing the voice, I looked around trying to figure <clears throat> out the source. But there was no one to be seen. Who's there? Quite a cliché question, but the right thing to ask is, where am I? What are you talking about? Show yourself. Not yet. <laughs> Entertain me for a little while longer. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Would you? <laughs> this is a place like no other. Why did you come here? If you do not believe in thing, <laughs> believe in things such as luck. I came here to prepare myself, mind, body, and soul. What you need is a gallon of oil. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, do enlighten me about what this something might be that you are preparing yourself for. I felt. A little bit annoyed as the question continued, but maybe if I kept talking to her, I'd f uh, be able to find out where she was hiding. Where Sh Sheil was hiding. Fucking hell, she he's found out the name already. He's got his, this guy's a mind reader. <laughs> yeah, his yeah. name's Shell. He's got his fucking Columbo. <laughs> <sighs> where are you, Sheila? Um, I'm preparing for a tournament. I do know much. Do do what might that be? Basically, two guys grab each other. Up. Uh, seriously, you don't know what judo is? It's the highly skilled combat. Ah oh. uh ha! -huh. So you're a warrior, hesitant to go into battle, and came here in hope of finding resolve to fight. 
Not so about the worrying part. How fortunate! It just so happens that there is a need for one of your kind. My, my kind? A hero. This shrine brings fortune to heroes such as yourself. However, every great hero must sacrifice something in return. I just can't wait to see her fucking face. We can put a face to that voice. <laughs> I guarantee you it'll fit perfectly. <laughs> sounds like one of the others mentioned. Your version sounds better though. A little bit sexier. It reminds me of the Hitcher. <laughs> <laughs> I just didn't realise that. Yeah, right. That sounds like the that's, Hitcher from Mighty that, Boosh. That's why I started laughing. Oh, yeah, oh, just... oh Jesus Christ. Whoa, 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 oh, what, what's whoa, going whoa, on? Whoa, 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 whoa. Sorry. <clears throat> Hang on, my kind. The hero. No, you haven't mentioned. Right. Don't hit the scroll button, it freaks it out. Jesus. <laughs> Laughing briefly at the story, I decided to play along and clapped my hands together <laughs> in prayer. <laughs> We're doing our own sound <laughs> Yeah. Well, Hold fuck, on. Fuck it, the game has some fucking putting in. What's this? <laughs> oh, oh, oh. oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> That's a sacrifice. Uh, oh, 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 I make it quiet. <laughs> Don't get in me eye this time. Uh, okay. Then what happens next? Do I offer up my allowance or something? So it's only a pocket <coughs> full of string and lint anyway. So. Don't be silly. Money is of little importance to a hero. For you, this sacrifice will be something of much greater value. I will be looking forward to seeing what Destiny has in store for you. Well, Destiny has um, a, a very short character creation, a fucking long tutorial, a lot of people dancing around the main uh, uh, hub, uh, lots of disappointment, people dropping out during instances, uh, waiting around forever for people to join instances, uh, and then they release expansions which are exactly the same as the shit they had already released. Ah, wrong destiny. There's okay. only three planets. Uh, uh, like three or four planets. <laughs> the moon doesn't count. That's not a planet. It's a planetoid. Ah. Did, did I skip past your bit? I actually skipped past your bit. Sorry. Uh, no, 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 it didn't. Um, oh, as God. if on cue, I began to feel uh, nauseated. So the moment the girl's words reached my ears, my head spinning wildly. Slowly, I staggered backwards, collapsing onto my back. Date rape. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, not again. My vision grew blurry. The sound of approaching footsteps could be oh heard. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck, hero. You're going to need it. Despite my attempts to get back up, all I managed was a brief look at the girl. <laughs> it's not brief, is it? Sorry, I got distracted from. Oh my god! I'm not entirely sure that can be justified as an outfit. It's got a weird thing going on there as well. I, <laughs> I won't draw attention. I'm the, so confused. I, oh, we're gonna. This is just what this is gonna be about. The sight of the horns and the tail left many questions, but before I had the chance to utter a, a, even a single word, my consciousness consciousness succumbed to the darkness. If you believe in a thing, come and love. I don't believe in anything anymore. <laughs> right, I'm going to end up there for part one. Um, just to check on the recording and shit. Um, so thank you very much if you managed to put up with it for this long. <laughs> um, and we'll see you again in the next exciting part. Yeah, we will! <laughs> <laughs>